andará? ¿Dónde andará? La que yo quiero. ¿Dónde andará? ¿Dónde andará? La que yo adoro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here on the Machigon Radio Show. I am your host, Juan Mendoza, owner of Machigon Radio, and of course, being brought to you by Lila Lace Promotions and Tajano TV, and of course, sponsored by Marisol Tequila, the new face of tequila, and of course, our sponsor, who is also our guest here today. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, this gentleman has been very, very busy, studio, uh, other radio stations, putting out the uh, ton of music and uh today is a special day for him as well so ladies and gentlemen we want to introduce to you mr danny farias from san antonio texas danny what's going on oh you you said it all man just uh <laughs> just busy taking it in yes sir just i i just got back to the uh to the house and uh just in time to uh uh, get with you on this podcast. I want to thank you a, a ton. Let me tell you your, your graphics, your, your intelligence, and the things that you do, man. You, you're just you just you're you're above so many other areas in, in the digital uh, uh, era. I mean, you, you have an absolute fantastic product out there. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank you for, for allowing us to work with you. I mean, I know it's it's been a bit, you know, with your music coming out and you had uh, Uvalde Strong. And today is one of those uh, special days because it marks the one year anniversary of the tragedy that happened in Uvalde last year, you know, at the, at the elementary school. You know, uh, what was it? 19 kids were killed, two teachers. And it was just uh, it was horrible. You know, it was, it was horrible for everyone, not only in Texas, but the whole country and the world. And um, it was just, it was crazy, but uh, you, you brought a little bit of light into it. You know, you came up with some, some music, you know, to uh, how would you say pay tribute to those lives that were lost. And of course, to the families who are still grieving to this day and probably will grieve for the rest of their lives because nobody, I guess nobody wants to see their parent. Nobody wants to see their kids go before the parents do. And there was 19 kids that were involved in there and, and all of them, you know, I passed on, but um in light of that, you came out with some music. You came out with a song called Uvalde Strong, uh, which was played here. And it's still getting played on the air. Uh, and also, you got a brand new single out that uh, just got released today. I guess you I guess you would call it today, uh, early this morning. I know we were working on it last night. Um, but, you know, how did you how did you manage to come up with these concepts to, to do something like that? Well, um, I just... I'm just one of the, you know, I, I have a team, right? Just, just, I have a team with, uh, with, uh, with, with, uh, David Escalante and, uh, Luis Ortiz and, and, and Joe Zimmerly, just everyone at that studio. They, they really firmly believe, um, in the music they put out. And, and so, you know, I just, I, I, I had the concepts. I, I have these ideas. And, uh, you know, uh, I just, I, I write them down, I get it together, and then I take it over to the studio. And as a team, um, we, we collaborate, and then uh, we, uh, we do uh, some, some sounds, and we do some tracks, and then we'll listen to it. And then if we think it's, it's something that, that's a fit, because, you know, you got to have it written in your key so you can sing it correctly. Mm -hmm. um, I'm brand new to this game. Um, in the music industry, um, as you well know, uh, people are, are just like, "Who is this guy? Where did he come from? What the heck is he thinking?" <laughs> doing? And and to be honest with you, uh, you know, we live in a, in a capitalist country where uh, you have the right to do the things that that you want to do that are good and positive for the community. So, I wrote the music, and rather than me going to get a booking agent. Or rather than me asking someone to write me a song and just this all this craziness, I just I had I, I get these concepts in my mind and then I take them to the professionals over there at Escalante Studios and then 
they put the magic together. They bring in, you know, like Roger Cabell, uh, a professional artist in, in the drums. Joey Sanchez, you know, another uh, exquisite uh, drummer. Uh, Roy Pagnao, he was on the bass with Tibaldi Strong. David Escalante was on the bass. Louis Ortiz is on the, on the second and, and the vocal. So to answer your question, we put we put it all together. And then then it's like, okay, big boy, we got it done. It's your turn getting the student. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know if I can sing these songs. Yeah. And uh, these are professionals. These guys have been singing forever. Yeah. So, you know, you've out the strong uh, uh, was done. And then, of course, uh, number 21 was done. And then after that, well, uh, well, Crayons from Heaven. Crayons from Heaven was the original song that uh, that I had come up with uh, uh, last year before I even did uh, You Vow Be Strong. And, and uh, so we, we did our stuff, and um, I know what I'm doing, and we know what we're doing with the music, and we know where we're going with it. And we just want to, uh, you know, music, like, you know, when I hear – like get down the night from KC, man. I love that music. If I hear, you know, the the, the you know uh, some music from George Strait, right? You know, um, you know, then uh, you know, music really makes a person feel better. And so, uh, yeah, you know, we, we just have a remarkable ability, and for some reason, it's it's just working. And it could be because. I'm brand new to the scene. Nobody knows. I mean, they know me, but they don't know me in this in this way, right? I, I've done the Tejano Music Awards for the last 20, 25 years, but I quit doing them probably five or 10 years ago. I don't remember. But I did them for 20, 25 years. I, 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 I know every single artist out there um, and the Lala Fest teaches everybody. So I just never got on the artistic side, but uh, – uh, when I was younger, I was uh, an actor. I've done some film, and I have a film that we're working on titled The Last American Flag. So I have the artistic abilities. It just takes a team, a group effort to, to produce something that, uh, that is, uh, that's good, that's strong, that we believe is, is okay, right? So, you know, we think it passed the test. Uh, and these, gar these guys are musicians that know what they're doing. So trust me, if they told me it was terrible <laughs> – they would tell me, <laughs> stick, stick, stick to drilling oil and gas, son, because you are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, the, the album, it's a it's an EP. It's an eight-track EP that you just came out with. Uh, we were able to uh, put it on District Kid, which, you know, now it's on all streaming platforms out there. Uh, I've been helping out Danny uh, put his music out there and everything. So if you guys are listening to it on YouTube or spotify or apple music or what have you uh you know i've been having my stuff so just thank you to danny for allowing me to help out in any which way um doing the graphics and you know especially with um the new single you know crayons from heaven and it was just like how would i how would i manage to put this together you know i was like you know you put a crayon surrounded by clouds and you know just write it in in crayon you know just like a, a, a kid would and I just it came out great, and I was just, I was kind of like, I was staring at it for a little bit. I was like, oh, "That's pretty cool." I mean, it's basic, not too much into it, but it's it it gets to the point to what you know the kids were gone, you know, at that point. So well, we 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 were at the studio last night when you sent it over, and and everybody was just fascinated with with your ability you have an incredible ability to do those things you know i know you know i i you know we go on all these podcasts and 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 you know jose pepe sanchez and and tony uh, and mr San, uh, santos leal over in corpus and k alamo and but i'm mm -hmm. telling you man you have a unique ability to get it done and i mean right away so you know when we saw the the cover of the cd i was like i you know I saw my name on the crayon and I thought, well, but then it simply tells you that that's the title of the song, but it's also yeah. the writer of the song because you, you're on the pen mm -hmm. of the crayon. So the colors were fantastic. You did an excellent job, man. Thank you. Appreciate that. It was just, it was I something. Say that, 
<laughs> well, I appreciate it, man. I seen you on some of the podcasts earlier today. Uh, you know, thank you for all the shout outs and everything else. You know, it's just a, a pleasure helping you out, you and uh, of course, with Piri Barra and all the rest of the guys out there, you know, just putting music together uh, with the first with the EP, actually. You know, and then it turned out to be a, like a tribute EP type of thing. You know, you pay tribute to the kids. Uh, you pay tribute to Emilio. You pay tribute to the to the immigrants that, that all died and, and the tanker, uh, you know, all those guys, too. And it was just it was so much tribute in that in that album, you know, and it was it was turned out great. And especially you're continuing on, man. That's why I was like, this guy's like the Bob Dylan of these days, you know. <laughs> well, thank you for that. That, you know. Bob Dylan was a super mega star. And if I can get anywhere near that, I, I'd certainly do it. But I can tell you that uh, uh, we're getting, I'm getting a lot of requests for songs to write for other people. But to be honest with you, man, I'm just writing, I, I, you know, uh, if I do any writing for anyone, it's going to be brand new up and coming, up and coming kids or, or people that have never gotten a break and, uh, uh, and go from there. But on, on the other hand, um, you know, the, the Corio 53, you know, we're uh, that that song that the part of that album got nominated in the Conjunto Awards in December. And wow. so you got you, and what I'm saying is, you know, I know it sounds braggadocious, braggadocious. It's not about me, man. The music that we did, we did it to heal people. But at the same time, I got to be the face of it because I wrote yeah. it. I got to be the guy in front because I'm the guy saying it. Yeah. But um, there, that album is just getting nominated all over the place. And look, God knows what he's doing. You know, these people that, that, that passed away, they, they were people. They weren't animals. You know, when, when, when we get brainwashed into America saying, well, you know, we got all these illegal immigrants. Let me tell you something. If you look into your roots, I promise you, I promise you, your parents came from. Now, I'm not talking about you, but I'm talking about others. I guarantee you they came from Europe somewhere. Mexico back in the day or, or, or Spain or Italy or France. So this country was built by, by immigrants. However, you know, we didn't have that issue coming here to the United States at that point. And I, I just thank God, you know, that just goes to show you that the incredible, even though people say, oh, America is this and America is that. Hey, people are risking their life and limb and their children to get here. That's how terrible it is outside the borders of the united states yeah so that's yeah. why we did uh the Korean 53 to, to honor the families yeah um let's go ahead and play one of the videos uh here we did a little um video we, we actually got it from youtube um this one is called uh uvaldi strong it's an awesome song like i said if you haven't heard it make sure you guys stream it it is on uh spotify it is on youtube all the streaming platforms out there and uh make sure you guys request it on all your favorite stations and uh this one is called uvaldi strong mr danny farias about as strong as you and what we are we shine on you as the brightest the stars we send our love from afar, you've out as strong as you and what we are. You are my love, you are my life, and through it all, you'll always be my life. We know you've been with us all along, and with your love, we are you out as strong. The Uvalde sky is so clear You can see all of Texas from here So shine your light upon us all Where Uvalde is strong and we're standing tall United we're standing in your love we won't fall So send your love down upon us all So come on one, hey come on all We're about as strong and we're standing tall strong 
right, that was awesome single right there, Uvalde Strong by Mr. Danny Farias. And that was that's awesome. Um, I can imagine all the feedback you got from that, from people in, in Uvalde, just for going through that and hearing something like that. Well, you know, um, uh, Chris Bloom, Albert Davila, and myself wrote Uvalde Strong. Uh, the kids are on the song. My, my niece, Ania's on there. My grandson, Christopher Ryan's on there and a couple of his friends, Azalea. And, and I forgive me, but I don't remember the other young lady's, uh, name, but, uh, they were all his little friends. They're, they're you know, his friends. And, and every time we would do an interview about it, I'd say, yes, this is my grandson. He's seven. And my grandson would say, uh, Popo, I'm seven and a half. <laughs> They include that half, and, huh? and I would and I would go, okay, seven, seven and a half. He's got to say it. So, anyway, we um, we 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 wrote the song to uplift the spirit of, of Uvalde, and is, is and to be honest with you, uh, what you heard right there isn't even mastered. That song wasn't even mastered. I, we we did the song. Um, it, it's it, it's as raw as you can get. It wasn't even finished. All it had was it had Joey Sanchez on the drums. Excellent job by him. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, he's I think he's touring with Art Tijerina, I think. And man, that guy is a stud, dude. I wish I could sing like that. God, he's great. Anyway, uh, so Joey Sanchez is on the drums, and then you got a uh, Chris Bloom on the acoustic guitar, and then Roy Panyawa uh, on the uh, bass. And then it, it, and then there, and then you know it was it was it wasn't uh, it, it was just different. But uh, we got it done. But it's as raw as it can get. And so I started singing Uvalde Strong" in a lot of places, and and you know people would come up to me and and they would be like, you know, they would be crying. People would. And this was early on. It was after I, I started learning how to sing it. And then uh, you know, because when you're live, you're live, and and you're just you know. You know, I, I, I didn't have a band then. We have a band now. It's David Escalante Band on the Run, you know, with uh, Roger Cabello and Cabello and, and uh, uh, P.D. Vada and, and David Escalante and Chris Medina and Zofar. And and, uh, and uh, I, I think we're going to have uh, I think we're going to have uh, I believe we're going to have Larry Mercer sing with me uh, at the awards on Sunday. He's going to sing a couple songs, I think, with me. And, and so that's the band. But you know, it's it's difficult to get out there and to sing music, uh, especially when you're you're a newcomer and a rookie and, and you don't know anybody in the music business. And, and let me tell you, if if uh, if the sound people don't like you, put a fork in it, you're done. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> um, yeah. I want I wanted to congratulate you on this right here, real quick, if I can put it out there for everybody. Oh. It's um, the state of Texas House of Representatives uh, says this certifies that the Texas flag herewith presented to Danny Farias and Christopher Rodriguez by Representative Drew Darby, District 72, was flown at the capital of the sovereign state of Texas, celebrating his success, singer, songwriter, actor, and Uvalde Strong. In witness hereof, the pursuing authority vested in me, I have here unto set my hand and the seal of office in Austin, Texas, this day, 19th day of May, 2023. Congratulations on this. Yeah, recognized by the House of Representatives of Texas for Uvalde Strong. That's crazy. Yeah. How does, how does that feel, man? Yeah, dude. Very emotional. Well, you know, I... I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't do the music for that. I didn't even know that, that, uh, 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 I didn't even know that there was a thing such as state honors. And so it's not, it's not something that I asked for, uh, but it's there. And uh, so, you know, that honors, that honors. Uh, so what that does is that that's going to, you know, there's a, there's a push you know, in the song, when you hear um, uh, when you hear crayons from heaven, I'm mean, yeah. When you hear that song, you're going to hear never forgotten, never forget, never forgotten. 
And so what happens in, in this particular case, Mercy Perez explained it to me, is that what they do is they, they, they flew the flag for 24 hours, brought it down in honor of Uvalde, of the song, right? I'm just attached to it because I'm the songwriter. But this is it to honor Uvalde forever. So what they did is there was, there was, from what I understand, there's like a lot of artists and a lot of different people in the state of Texas that have done many, many honorable things. But um, I have no reason why they chose me for it, but they did. And so uh, uh, what they do is they're putting Uvalde Strong and my name and my grandson name, his name, uh, for me, he's singing on it and for me writing the song. Um, and they're putting that into the Texas archives of Texas history forever. So what that does is that it guarantees that Uvalde Strong, the song, and what that meant for Uvalde, that they'll never, ever be forgotten. How does how does your grandson feel being 11 and a half? We got to mention 11 and a half years old. How does he feel that his, his name is attached to that? Does he grasp the concept yet? He's actually seven and a half. Oh, okay. Seven and a half. Okay. That was the other yeah. grandchild then. <laughs> No, it's just my grandson. He's seven and a half. My other grandson is only two. But okay. I, I asked him when, uh, uh, you know, I told him this yesterday. And he goes, what's that, Popo? And I said, well, the state of Texas it wants to honor, you know, not just. See, what happens here is, to, to answer your question, he felt just flabbergasted. He was running all around the house, you know. and <laughs> Really, Popo? You know, he doesn't understand. He's a baby. But what happens is, is that um, when when the when the representative was talking to me about things, I said, well, is it am, am I able to at least put, you know, can we include the names of the children that were on the song? Can we include the band members on the song? Can we include the, the co-writers on the song? Because they deserve all that credit, too. And she said, no, Dan, we're just going to do you because you're the, you're the singer and the main mm -hmm. person. So what I'm going to do is once I receive the awards at in person uh, on Monday at the at uh, Arneson River, uh, because we're in the All Star Music Awards, we're performing Sunday and Monday um, for the music awards. Well, once I receive it, then I'm going to make copies, and then I'm going to give copies to everyone that was part of what we did. And uh, you don't know this, but I'm letting you know now. That night you called me. And you said, hey, are you the one that wrote you Valley Strong? I'm like, yep. So, uh, uh, you know, I, I know I sent you a text message and I said, Juan, if you play that music, you're going to honor Texas and you're going to honor their memory forever. And, uh, and you did that. And so uh, you, you, we're, we're, um, I have a company called Buddy S Productions. So we're going to hold a, a special event just just for the people that were involved in this in this project. And uh, we're going to give them a, a copy of, of what you just read. You're going to get a copy of that for your uh, efforts and involvement. And, of course, you're going to get something from us, which is a personal thing from Fadias Productions and for you, Valdi Strong, for what you did, because you did this for the state of Texas. No one else was going to play my music. No one else was going to do it. Right. But you did. You saw something and you honored Texas. And so by doing so, you know, my hat goes off to you, man. And thank you so much, because it's not about me. You know, it's not about me. I've got everything in my life. Right. But, you know, it's for people like yourself, fellow Texans that understand that people are hurting. And you're like, you know, I'm going to take a chance on this guy. I don't even know who he is. But but you you played you Valdi strong and it wasn't even finished. That's as rough as a cut as you get. Yeah. There's no you know there's no other instrumentation to it. There's not. I mean, there's a lot of stuff lacking from it. But but at the same time, you got to take into into consideration that it's about children, right? And yeah. and it's about about the youth and about the inexperience of of music. And so I let it go that way as raw as we could. Uh, to to make it as original as possible. So well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you for for everything. Uh, you know, we we get a copy of that. You know, I'm gonna hang it here in our in our little studio. Uh, oh, you're but, getting a copy of it for sure. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. It's just uh, 
it was an honor, you know, it was something that at least we could do for you, Valdi. I mean, I know we can't do much and the songs, both songs have been actually playing all day long on Mastering on Radio on top of the hour. Uh, the oh, video, man. which I'm going to play right now, uh, which is done by you, uh, a good friend of ours, Mr. D. Burleson of Culturas, uh, actually etched the pictures to the video and we, we're going to put it on YouTube with your permission, of course, and it's been playing on Tejano TV uh, throughout the day, so we're very proud of that and uh, I think since we put it up there this morning, I think it's gotten about uh, over a few thousand views already on Facebook, so uh, people have been sharing it, people have been watching it, and it's a very emotional video because you see the people crying and stuff, so it's a uh, what you know. And which, which song is it? The crayons from heaven. Oh, okay. Well, you know, uh, did, did did you want me to talk a little bit about crayons from heaven before you do the video or after? Uh, we'll do after. it after. Let's go ahead and play it right now. Um, we're gonna give a couple shout outs real quick. Uh, going out to Ernest Rodriguez. Uh, he said, "Is there a TV schedule? Um, it'll be this interview will be on uh, Tahano TV throughout the week. So we'll give you uh, make sure you guys follow us on Facebook." Uh, Henry Cadenaria from New, Mex uh, New Mexico radio talk shows in the house. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Bobby Castaneda says, congratulations to Danny and Christopher. Danny, you are very humble. And he said he's from California. Thank you for tuning in. Um, Alfredo Rios, what is the name of the song? The name of the song is uh, Uvalde Strong. We played it a little bit ago. And there's a brand new one uh, that we're going to play right now. It's called Crayons from Heaven. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Um, D Burleson, uh, a member of Tahano TV, one of my partners at Tahano TV, and of course, uh, the Three Amigos show, which we'll, we'll have a show in a little bit with Los Desperados. Uh, he says, it's a great song, Danny. I was honored to work on it. Uh, like I said, the video that you're going to watch here in a minute, he attached all the pictures to it, and it just turned out great. And like I said, it's a very emotional video along with the song. So uh, the pictures say a thousand and probably a million words. Um, D. Bradison, he said, thank you for dedication. So, um, like I said, stick around thank a little bit. We're going to have the Three Amigos show, myself, D, and Marcus, and uh, Los Desperados. Um, let's go ahead and play the video real quick, and then when we come back, we're going to talk more about the, the song itself. So make sure you guys check this one out. This one is called Crayons from Heaven. Mr. Danny Farias. Thank you.
Awesome song. I said very emotional. A lot of the pictures in there. Um, that video was done, of course. Uh, the song was done, of course, by Mr. Danny Farias. Uh, big shout out going out to D Burleson who put all the pitch, all the pictures to it. Uh, all in a hurry. It was done since last night. So um, also big shout out going out to Steven Garcia. Uh, everybody knows him in the Tahana world is uh, Freestyle Steve. He's from Uvalde, and okay. his daughter his daughter was one of the ones who. Um, never made it home. Uh, Miss Ellie Garcia was his daughter, and uh, Stephen and I actually used to be a DJ for us back in the day. So uh, it's a tragic loss for him. Um, but it, it's an awesome song. It's like I said, very emotional. It's, it's very, it's an awesome do- song though. Well, I, I thank you for for that, and, and I'm sorry for his loss. And like I said, you know, D, uh, thank you. Like I said, I I can't, I couldn't have done any of this that needs to be done so that it can be first off of first quality, the very best that you can put out there. This is the very best that I've seen anywhere. And why? Because they deserve the best. And and I thank you D for doing the videos, you know, and, and at the same time, uh, we, we've been working till one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning uh, to meet the debt, you know, to, to meet, to meet the schedule. And, um, and so, you know, David Escalante, that guy never sleeps, man. <laughs> and, uh, and Luis Ortiz, just a phenomenal, phenomenal writer. Albert Davila, the same way, Chris Bloom. I mean, I can't say enough about this entire, it, it takes a, an effort, uh, you know, a collaboration by everyone Number one, that, that really has the interest, the best interest of others, right? And once once you you realize that you're really not important, this isn't about us. This is about others, right? And uh, once you learn that, then, you know, who cares about all this other stuff? They, they don't have their family anymore. And so if there's something that we can do to help, this is, you know, monetary gain is not going to work. Fame is not going to work. You know, anything in the world is not going to work. They, they want their children back and, and rightfully so. Right. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm from San Antonio and, and, and uh, you know, I, I don't know why it me took on me. I don't know why I'm the one that, that, that decided to, to write these songs. But I mean, I just I did. And we did. And Albert did. And, and, and Chris Bloom did. And Sanders, the one that helped me with their son in law and just. It just it was just an effort by by you know Roy Panyawa and by you know uh, Joey Sanchez and Roger Cabello and Chris Medina and and you know Joe Zimmerly over at the, at the at the studio with all the guys and, Car- and, and Carlitos on on fifty three. I mean this th- these guys are in it because they're very very serious about their music and what they do and they understand that they're sending a message out to the world and they want to put put the best message out there for everybody. Yeah. Well, no, we can appreciate that. I mean, um, I hope some way or another, the victims, families, and you all, they can find some kind of comfort. And I know today's a rough day. You know, it's, a, it's an anniversary. It's the first anniversary and many more to come. I don't know if you can hear me clear with the mic. I don't know if it was cutting out or whatever. But no, I can um, hear you. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, our hearts and prayers continue to go out to all the victims out there, the families and the friends, and especially the kids 
going to different schools because none of the kids went back to the same school again. They closed it down. So um, hopefully you, they you find know, some you kind know, of comfort. You know, you know, uh, Juan, I received a phone call when you were playing You Vowed Me Strong. And I received it from, I, it was from a mom uh, because we went up there uh, during a parade and we did the parade. And what we did is I think we made seven or 800 CDs. And so we were on the parade singing. Uh, it was uh, Chris uh, Bloom, uh, Martha, his wife, uh, Elijah was there and Sandra Rubiano was there. And so we went up there and we're, we're on the, uh, on the, uh, the trailer. And so did Freddie Garcia, a very good friend of mine here in San Antonio. And he was driving the truck. We didn't have a driver. I'm like, well, I'll have to drive, but Freddie drove. And, and so we had these CDs and they were asking us, Hey, how much of the CDs? I go, are you kidding me? These are yours, man. So we gave away seven or 800 CDs. I don't remember how many it was, but, I got a call a while, a while later, and it was back to school or something. I don't know what they were doing, but uh, they were doing something. And, and I got a call from a mom, and she actually said, hey, we are listening to your song. The kids are listening to you, Valdi Strong, and they're not afraid to go to school. And I, I was just floored by that. And so they were, they were driving to school, and she actually sent on Messenger – she was Danny. Listen to this. They're playing, and the kids are in the background <laughs> singing it. And I was just like, "Wow, man!" So you never know what you're doing. But I know that we have the best of intentions uh, for for our fellow uh, Americans and our fellow man. They don't have to be Americans, right? But for 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 our fellow human beings, and you know, once you really get it that that uh, you know we're here for a short while. And uh, I just want to leave this p place a much better place than what I found it in. And so that's my responsibility as, as a man and a, as a human being. And, and so, you know, we're going to, you know, I was talking today because I, we were, I was just going to take off, man. I was going to, when this thing was over this weekend, I was already going to head. <laughs> I was going to sell my assets, man, and go to, uh, I was going to go to Montana. Uh, oh, okay. And, uh, but, but uh you know, I, I've had so many phone calls like, man, you got to, you got to, you know, we know you got another album already about done. And I said, well, I do. And this man, you need to keep writing music because it's good for the soul for people. And I said, well, you know, we'll, we'll look at, we'll look at everything after all this weekend is over and, and what we're doing. But uh, we're, uh, you know, there was a lady, Lisa, I think Lisa Martinez was at the studio last night. And uh, so was uh, Henry Rebus. What a wonderful guy, man. Mm -hmm. uh, all the guys that were there and, and they heard crayons from heaven and she called the promoter Frank Salazar from, from Victoria. And uh, they have a massive celebration over there. And so they invited me to go sing crayons from heaven uh, and, uh, at 9 PM at, in the, in the prime time for the citizens to, to honor Uvalde. It was incredible. I was like, I'll go and do it. <laughs> Very nice. Well, I want to thank you so much for being on our show again. And, um, you know, we're going to keep working. We're going to keep doing these things and uh, putting your music out there. Uh, everybody, make sure you guys uh, check out Uvalde Strong. It is on all streaming platforms. Crayons from Heaven should be on all streaming platforms here in, in the next day or so. I know we're waiting on Distro Kid to, you know, get on it already. So, um, Lila Lisa <laughs> Promotions, uh, my baby, she sent it out to all the radio stations, so they should be carrying it out there. If they don't, make sure they contact her and let them know that their radio station wants to play the songs. And um, our hearts and prayers continue to go out to all the victims of Uvalde and all the other schools across the country, too. You know, the shootings and shootings in the churches and the malls and everything else, you know. And uh, just Danny, thank you so much for confiding in us to help you out. Well, li like I said, you know. You guys are, are excellent what you do. And for me, you know, this isn't about me. It's an honor for me to even uh, be mentioned in, in the music industry. Because like I said, I'm a rookie at what we're doing, but I'm surrounded by complete professionals. And and you're one of them. And like I said, you know, my, my hat goes off to you and everyone else out there doing what we're doing. And it's for the betterment for uh, Uvalde. It's for the betterment of Texas. And and uh, so I can't say enough. Thank you, Albert Davila and Chris Bloom and Sandra uh, Rubiana and, and uh, you know, my grandson, Christopher, and all the kids that are on the song. And, you know, that that is just a tribute to them. 
And uh, if, if we can do anything more to help them cope with what they're going through, well, well, we're, cert- we're, we're here to do that. And the last thing I'd like to say is, you know, thank you, David Escalante and, and Luis, and thank you, Juan, and everybody else for all your help. And we're going to continue trying to write some good music and get it out there to the, to the public uh, because music actually heals. And, and uh, we're going to continue praying as we should for one another. And uh, we should love a lot more and hate a lot less because there's a lot of hate out there. And it just doesn't have to be that way. You know, all the fellow artists that are out there, if you have a dream, the dreams can't come true. If you're working at what you're doing, I'm a prime example that, that uh, you know, God honors those that honor him, right? And so uh, that's not to say that you guys don't or nobody does. It's just to say that God has the master plan, and that's what we that's what we live by. So thank you so much, Juan. I know you got to get to your show. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much for everything. And uh, like I said, we're going to continue to work. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year, like I said, we're going to talk more about this and uh, plan our 10th anniversary party over there in, at the ranch. So hopefully yeah, things hey, keep you, going. So they will, man. And you guys are welcome at the ranch anytime. And, and also, AB, AB wanted to say hello from – from uh, Puro Orgullo Radio to you and your family and the radio stations. And I was with them earlier. And, of course, before that, I was with Jose Pepe Sanchez. And now I'm with you. And then from here, I'm going to go to Puro Pebble Talk Show right now. <laughs> and then after that, yes. we got a, we got another one with uh, uh, the New Mexico Talk Show. And yeah. I think there's two more. So if I don't get any sleep till tomorrow, that's okay. We're, we're going to keep <laughs> pushing the agenda uh, yeah. for the music. And, and, uh, and by the way, uh, Juan, if you can find uh, – uh, a way to 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 uh, we can do a five hundred one c three with uh, with uh, with the music that we did. You know, we can do something positive. Um, you know, maybe we can start a fund to build a memorial. Or, I mean, I don't know. But uh, at any rate, uh, that's in your hands. And thank you so much, Delilah, and your family. And and thank you so much, guys. I know you got to go, and I got to go too. But <laughs> thank you, and God bless you, Valdi, man, and God bless Texas. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking around. Uh, make sure you guys stick around on our Facebook page. We are going to have uh, the Three Amigos show with myself, D. Burleson, Marcus Daniels, and we're going to have Los Desperados in just a few minutes. So thank you to Danny Farias. Thank you so much, brother. Appreciate it. And uh, Danny Farias, thank you. thank you so much for sponsoring T- the Tejano TV and, of course, the Three Amigos show. Thank you so much. God bless. Bye-bye. 